what is up YouTube and welcome back to Bike Hub Japan so today I've got a great story for you it's something that broke in the in the bike world it broke a couple of months ago but just in the last few weeks it's gotten a bit of publicity on TV and all the online bike communities are going crazy about it so it's a very funny story about a girl called Azusa so let me introduce you to Azusa because she is the dream girl for most bikers in Japan and probably a lot of you guys watching this too if you're into Asian chicks. So she's a young, attractive, dare I say sexy girl who rides bikes. So what more could you ask for? She's got a TZR 250, so she's a two-stroke lover, so that's an extra, an extra tick. She also has a motocross bike. She also has a big off-road touring bike. So that's three boxes ticked what about the rest of her well she's very cute she takes very sexy photos of herself and she also does her own maintenance on the bikes and I'm not talking about just simple oil changes she's rebuilding gearboxes like jetting her own carbs she's getting full-on stuck into the bike life and so when she started first um, posting on Twitter I mean obviously she was instantly successful she's getting lots of likes lots of new followers lots of retweets people giving her comments like you're so gorgeous uh, i want to marry you all this kind of stuff and it went on for a long time where every day there'd be a new upload and it'd be as cute as the last one and um eventually people started asking a few questions because it says in her bio that she was born in the showa period so in Japan, the Showa period was 1962 till, I think, 1989. So that means the youngest she could be is 31 years old. But looking at her, her picture, she doesn't look 31. So that started getting um, people's attention, raising questions. And then a couple of other um, sort of online detectives found exactly the same bike as she rides. Um, with a, a different person standing next to it and this person was doing exactly the same pose that Azusa does and it was sort of intriguing oh maybe her maybe her dad um, is the owner of the bike who knows then it, it went on and on and all these internet detectives um, started finding more and more pictures of the same bike and they noticed things like hey this guy is wearing the same rucksack as Azusa and hey, this guy has got the same leathers as Azusa. And then one picture that sort of broke broke this scandal wide open. It's not really a scandal, but I'm just uh, I'm just saying it is for the sake of YouTube. But what blew it open was someone found exactly the same picture of her, exactly the same pose, exactly the same bike, exactly the same location, same rucksack, same jacket, but the hands were the, not the hands of a cute little 25 year old sexy girl these hands were of a old man so the, the plot thickened so more and more people started asking asking are you really a cute biker girl and I don't know how how it came about I don't know if he admitted it or he was just like found out but it turns out that this sexy Azusa the beautiful gorgeous biker girl from Japan is actually a 50 something year old guy who was using the face app application on his phone to turn himself into a <laughs> into a woman and then you know beautify himself with all makeup and stuff so it was actually a dude so here's a clip that was on the TV on the news this week <laughs> so yeah guys, what do you make to that? It's a 50 something year old dude with long hair who looks pretty feminine, feminine anyway who was making himself out to be girl and the reason he said he did it is because whenever he put pictures of himself or his bike up by themselves he just didn't get any likes at all and as soon as he added the character of Alusa just skyrocketed in popularity and started getting likes and messages and follows and stuff so he said he did it for that reason and just for fun 
but I don't know, looking at the guy, he looks like a pretty effeminate kind of guy. Maybe he's a bit of a <laughs> maybe he's a bit of a, a gender bender. Who knows? But anyway, I thought that was a brilliant story coming out from Japan this week, and it's hilarious that it made it onto the well, not the mainstream news, but a really popular talk show. So yeah, so Azusa, if you want to subscribe to uh, Azusa, follow Azusa on Twitter. The link is in the description. All right, guys. See you in the next video.